sort it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hi, welcome to the mess show. I'm Diva and I have I need a water boys here. This is my husband. I think he will be best dressed as Chris and not Tofer. Yeah. And this is Nick, my brother in law, his brother. And we have Erica not in the frame. Say hi. Hi. Alright, so today we are featuring the boys because they've been featuring us in their playthroughs. They have their own YouTube channel. They play games and they talk shit. I usually summarize us as we're not bad people, we're just foul mouthed <laughs> and opinionated. We're basically interviewing them, sort of. They are here for my hashtag Indo in Indie video. So we're gonna ask questions and the answers will basically show the differences between people from the East and people from the West. People from the East is just one, so one person from the East. Erica's gonna ask the questions. So here we go. You can start with the first question. The first one is, what comes to mind when you hear like childhood soda? I was gonna say, <laughs> Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. Why Pepsi? Because that was our soda of choice. But yeah, it's because our our dad was really into Pepsi. He also worked at one of uh, Pepsi warehouses. That was just his go-to drink, and then that became our go-to drink, especially cherry Pepsi. <laughs> See, we don't have cherry Pepsi back home. The only Pepsi we have in, at least in Malaysia and Indonesia, is only one Pepsi. No, two. The original Pepsi and diet Pepsi. Because we only have soda and the diet version of the soda. No crystal Pepsi? No crystal Pepsi. So for me, childhood soda would be a glass bottle of Sprite, Coke, and Fanta. You got that? It's like it's very like it's not even satisfying. You just drink like two gulps of it and that's it. Okay, you can continue on with the next okay, one. Okay, number two. Breakfast food you could eat every day. Eggs. <laughs> really? That's all? Just eggs? D it, well eggs and toast or some sort of toast dish. Some bread with eggs. Do you prefer omelet or scrambled eggs? Because I realize I only cook you like scrambled eggs. Day? I make scrambled eggs a lot. I think waffles. <laughs> I'm not much of a breakfast person though, for me. How are we married? I usually always end up eating it at like the middle of the day or in the evening. We get eggs, bacon, hash browns, all that stuff. Shit. Um, that's one thing about America. The breakfast food is pretty legit. Yeah. Okay, for breakfast food for me would be fried rice and omelet. So we will eat like a lot of carbs with side dishes. What comes to mind when I say field? For me, it's paddy field, but that's my Southeast Asian-ness. Field day? <laughs> field day at school? Field, field day, uh, that's, what, just elementary school period? Kindergarten through five, one day out of the year toward the end of the year. They just get to go outside and do a bunch of, like, ringway activities, I guess. Just playing games I'm and winning playing. prizes and stuff. I don't know, you say field. I live in plain field, <laughs> so I just picture cornfields. A plain field, just with nothing in it, or has crops. That field day sounds healthy, to be honest. Like, people should do that. Video games, card games, or board games? Ha ha! Where do you even start with that? <laughs> We've rebooted our YouTube page all around video games. Well, you guys I mean, that's, that's really vague. Maybe. We've actually discussed that. Mm, good board games. It'd have to be one of those really badass, like, intricate ones where it takes like an hour to set it up. Lovecraftian games. Euchre. Euchre. Yeah. That's what people play. That's card games though, I don't really care about all that. It's a morale. It was a preference If you have thing. a drop yeah. one, right, drop two. Oh, I'm going to choose one. video games over any type of game, yeah. <laughs> Technology wins. But like, I, I enjoy things that have a story no. and characters and stuff like that. So, I mean, is D&D yeah. yeah. a board game? No. Technically? No. Not a board it's game. It's a tabletop. RPG. It's not the same thing. Clo it's close enough, but video games are modeled off of D&D, so still video games. Or certain video games, anyway. 
Elder Scrolls. I do not know any of them. Yeah, Dragon Age is pretty much D and D. Which is why I would probably be able to play like D and D. Even being interested in it automatically makes you. Yeah, nervous. it's like you like D and D. Oh, <laughs> nerd. Like we are, we're all nerds here, so that's fine. Yeah, okay, video games all the way for me as well. But we will play board games when the power's out, like yesterday. Okay, next. Best type of music. Oh, <laughs> that's so vague and so hard to answer. You wrote it down. No, actually, she wrote I it didn't. down. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. Currently, I'm into dream pop those shit that's very like slow and sounds like sad music they play in prom when you don't have a date so you sit in the corner i like that kind of music i think it's best to just choose it as the current one not your all-time favorite because it's gonna like be so hard for everyone well, it's kind of hard to say because the stuff i listen to i listen to a lot of it all in one day i don't know <laughs> Grimes? You're really into Grimes at the moment. Yeah, really into Grimes, but at the same time, I'm also really into any progressive metal. I like Ghost. Mm. Specifically, Devin Townsend. You know, you've listened to my music in the car. Yeah. So I jump from nice. anywhere from dream pop to metal to like 1960s, yeah. you know, Ellie Noir. So I guess I've been missing the Ghost to album. So I guess currently, like, progressive metal, but. I I don't know, I've also been listening to like indie, like underground. Metal with a keyboard. I'm just gonna go with metal because I'm wearing this. So it's like, we'll just <laughs> choose metal for all three. How important sci-fi is to you? Sci-fi in Indonesia is n it's not really a big deal because we are more into the spiritual sense. So we have more movies about like, you know, ghost stuff, possession stuff. But we do have, you know, like, local superhero, but I don't know if that's considered sci-fi, though. Chicha yeah, Chicha Man, is that sci-fi? We don't know. Za, what do you think? That's, is that sci-fi? We grew up on sci-fi. So, previous videos, we go over some Star Wars stuff, and we have a lot more lined up for that. We have a lot of Star Wars stuff we're going to be talking about. Alien, Predator... The thing, yeah, mostly the gory or sci-fi stuff. Yeah, Starship Troopers, especially. Read Dune. <laughs> Nick told me that Dune is like the grandfather of Star Wars. That's not, not just Star Wars, like all sci-fi. Sci Mary Shelley is the grandmother of sci-fi. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sci-fi is pretty important to us. We don't even really need to elaborate on it. We're just like, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, pretty much the exact opposite of what she said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What comes to mind when I say noodles? Dinner. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> Mac and cheese. That's the first, like, confusion I had when I reach here. There's a difference between noodles and pasta for me. But, like, noodles apparently doesn't mean just Asian noodles. It also means pasta, yeah. and I only know that once I'm here. Oh, oh, Asian noodles. Yeah. Asian noodles. Asian noodles. Okay, an unconventional type of animal you would have as a pet. Pet or an octopus. For me, it's a black panther. You get an elephant. Hmm. Why elephant? Elephants are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like elephants. They're smart as hell, and they're really sweet animals. Erica, how about you? Shark. There you go. Oh, <laughs> nice. We had to lock a cat in the bathroom because she's noisy and sh I don't want her to disrupt the recording session. So, in case you guys hear stuff. I kind of want to put that in the question, actually, Halloween, because obviously Halloween's only an American thing. Like, we know Halloween exists, but, you know, we don't actually have kids trick-or-treating. What comes to mind when you hear the word festivals? Apple, <laughs> apple orchard. Yeah, again, Halloween. <laughs> yeah. There were some Halloween festivals. Mm -hmm. Those kids was pretty awesome. Like, had mazes and shit. You know, hay rides. Yeah. Haunted yeah. hay rides. Stony Creek. So again, what do like you do? Fall festivals. There's a lot of places that they'll have, like, you know, gigantic corn mazes and uh, hay rides. And some places they'll have, like, hay rides where you're getting chased by people. Can you go with me? I don't want to do that alone. They kind of annoy me. They just, they just annoy me. 
like you pay to go inside of a house that's spruced up, all spooky, and people oh, jump out yeah. at you. I've been to those. I've been to a few, and they just, I don't know, they bore me and annoy me. It's just all jump scares, and jump scares are cheap scares. Yeah, for me, festivals would be music festivals and food festivals. Food festivals are great. Like, Indonesia, if it's a concert, they will still have, like, people selling food and everything. County fairs and state fairs that are a lot of food. Yeah, we just never really went to them too much. I've only ever been to the county fair like twice in my life. But the music festival sometimes can go on for so long that even though it's like raining, you would still have to stay there and people were like, hey, raincoats, raincoats everywhere. If you want to see Indonesia at its best, go to festivals, but I can't promise you that you won't be annoyed because we're very loud people. A movie or two you can watch and rewatch anytime. Old boy and stoker. I mean, I guess quirks too. Like the raid or the warriors. A favorite color and why? I don't know. I used to say gray because it was a nice middle ground, but in the past few years I've come around to purple. Green because it's peaceful. Red. Passionate color. You have to pick one the space, deep sea, or the desert. Now, the ocean is my biggest fear, so fuck the deep sea. <laughs> I want to see what's down there. I just want to stay in like far away from it and see it on TV. The desert seems like a boring time. There's nothing there. It's hot, dry, sand everywhere. So I, I say space every time. Like, I always wanted to go to space. Like he said, desert's boring. Space travel stuff. I'm not really interested in it because of the opposite thing with uh, like the deep sea. Don't we know more about space oh, yes. than our own oceans? I want to know more about our oceans. Stuff in the abyss fascinates me, so... For me, it's the deep sea. Because space terrifies me somehow, and desert, I don't want to die of dehydration. Do you prefer a vague concept or a clear concept? What kind of question, question is that? <laughs> I didn't write it. <laughs> I wrote that. A clear concept, why would you choose a vague one? Something like Twin Peaks. They're kind of vague, you know? Because that's what I was thinking. It's like the ending to Old Boy, where it's just very vague. And it's like, I like that. A nice splash of vagueness when you know how to do it. Because I personally like vague stuff. I like it when things are not explained and you kind of just like predict it or like assume it in your own mind. Yeah, when you put it that way, then yeah, I absolutely prefer vague because I hate things just being spelled out. Yeah. I would prefer things being vague rather than dealing with an exposition dump. <laughs> that was frustrating. Do you have any clear concept movie or something that you like? I guess if it's clear concept, you want it to be like straightforward and not like... Yeah. Um, any Stephen King adaptation? Yeah, if it's clear <laughs> and it doesn't, doesn't need exposition, there monster you go. movies <laughs> that are clear concept and that's alien. <laughs> it's just an alien yeah. on a ship killing people. Predator 2. It's like, oh, he'll be back. <laughs> Good kind of vague. It's like, when will they be back? That's the Indo and Indy and also introduction to the I Need a Water Boys. I want to thank Erica for asking the questions. So if you are going to see the videos that these boys put up on their channel, you can go on the link below. Yeah, there, wherever Nick's pointed at. Not up there. There's no introduction of YouTube oh, unless they change the layout. On his, <laughs> on his face! If you want to see the previous videos, they played like, I don't know how many games now. We got a few. <laughs> they're gonna put up more videos and hopefully they're also gonna put up a podcast in Zas website. Uh, follow their YouTube channel. Also, they had, I think, I don't know if it's the latest one, but they ranted about Star Wars while they're playing. What Star Wars game was it? Force Unleashed. So they had a good talk about the Star Wars universe and that, if you are into that. So thank you, Nick and my love, for being here in the video. I need a water boys here, so I'm, I think it's appropriate if I'm going to say thank you for watching and stay hydrated. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>